Hey guys, it's here. Welcome to this Hall of Fame interview and I'm here with Geeta Mikhilinyani. She is from uh, Bangalore and Hyderabad, these two places. The interesting thing is she is a CFO of a reputed uh, organization and she's also director of a bank appointed by RBI. Very high level position in her regular career, but in spite of that, she has been able to build the side hustle by helping women in the area of menopause. Uh, she's a menopause coach. She got into our community in uh, March 2021. and. Uh, Amazing thing is she has over 107 students uh, in her community and she has been able to achieve over 8.23 lakhs just in the last six months out of which more than four lakhs just in the last three to four months by helping other women in this very, very uh, niche topic. Uh, she's a part of the Warriors Hive. So all of you Warriors, you can cheer up for your fellow uh, warrior who's achieved the Hall of Fame and Gita, super proud of your uh, your growth in the last four months. I mean, last six months, I should, I should say in spite of being in a very very high reputed organization position and you this is like your mission so congratulations on the entering the hall of fame thank you so much thank you so much Sid. looking forward for this thank you so much thank you what was the why did you get into this journey i mean you're you know high reputed uh, job position doing well financially possibly and what triggered you to get into this journey uh, I, I should, I think when you look back and uh, see the journey, in the 50 year hitch was there, do something different, do something new, was already getting into my system. Mm. And the lockdown actually triggered off because mm. I, I saw the opportunities coming in front of me. And mm. that is when I thought, yes, I should be doing something like this. And the best part was, uh, I believe in the concept of mentors right from beginning in my professional life or in my personal mm. life. So when I touched upon this topic with my fitness mentor, Melan mm. Matthew, uh, I went to something different. And mm. he told, go, go ahead, get I've been seeing your journey, something mm. to do with women. And mm. that is when menopause, he was not even able to pronounce when I told him this, mm -hmm. something very different. Mm. And it just, it just, just small seed happened then in mm. somewhere around December, November, December, 2020. Okay. Okay. So during lockdown was when, I mean, you wanted to do something more than your regular corporate life. Yeah. And, uh, the, the topic menopause, was it clear in your head in the beginning or did it happen after coming to ILH and going through niche clarity a process? Uh, menopause was yes. the only thing I understood when it mm. came into my uh, system. I should do mm. something different. Okay. The moment I joined ILH, the niche clarity audit happened. Yeah. Where you gave me points like menopause. Yes, it's good. It's eight. But you have mm -hmm. to take it to the 10 level. Mm. That was when I went micro, micro and coined the term perimenopause because that is where women have to be taken care not after the it will become a post-mortem if i go ahead with menopause. okay so okay. after your audit i went further down mm. and then the magic started for me can you repeat that what, what is the micro niche if you can help us understand yes yes uh during the audit niche clarity audit i just coined the term menopause for women okay in that audit during your um, verification you, told, you mm. should go down further bring mm. it closer to the uh, yes. country because it is menopause is a very vague term mm. so I went back did a little more homework and identified the exact age group where it women transition into menopause okay and that okay. is called perimenopause got it okay okay so that's what uh, uh, you were able to narrow it down to got it and uh, tell us about how, uh, since it's a topic that many, most uh, women may or may not like to talk about it openly, uh, how are you able to, uh, you know, launch yourself on this particular topic? Like, did you face any challenges, resistances, like putting yourself out there and you're also in the corporate world? Like, tell us about that phase of the journey. Um, I actually, it's very interesting, uh, Siddharth. I should tell mm. you, because people felt like menopause, you know, the very... Um, the feel, the very word when they try, when I opened up my ideas and all this, they were like, why menopause? You know, that you're doing different. Why, why? Mm. The moment I started talking more about it, once mm. my course curriculum, the research that was going on and went on talking to Facebook and yes. organic, mm. I saw the responses from women not connected to me at all approaching. Mm. It mm. went to such an extent where I got messages into my 
uh, Facebook Messenger from yeah. men. Oh, mm. I can relate to why my wife behaves like this. <laughs> Mm. I was like, oh my God, this is the kind of depth. This is the kind of huge market. I thought it's narrow, narrow, narrow. The mm. market will also be narrow. That's how I was looking at things. But, but it's huge. It is yeah. not so. It is mm. not so. The deeper you go, the, the wider it becomes as regards people understanding and reaching out. Mm. And what happened in the process was I saw people outside the country joining the Facebook much mm. more than Indian women. Mm. I'm out openly talking about menopause in the group. Yes. Mm. And mm. that actually triggered off the confidence in me. Mm. Yes. It, whether you are in India, you're Asian, you're the US, wherever you are, mm. menopause is a, a thing which every lady yes. experiences, mm. whether you're married, whether you've given birth, whatever is the situation, you mm. will hit upon menopause. Mm. That made me much more like, Yes, I should study more, work more, understand more, pick up better mentors across the world. Mm. And you actually triggered us off during the um, uh, leadership calls, mm. full stack brain, full stack brain, go to corner. And yes. that actually helped me. That actually Fantastic. Helped me. So how long did it take in your journey of, uh, you know, the launch phase? Because, you know, on a topic like this, I'm sure uh, you have your own set of knowledge and then you started to pick up knowledge from other places to integrate all of that, to create like your own system that's going to help others. So how long did it take in that launch phase? Because in the last four months, you, you've you achieved like amazing revenue numbers. So a yes. lot, lot of people look only at this. They don't look at what has happened uh, before that. So tell us about that phase. Yes, it was very tough. It was very tough. It is mm -hmm. easy to design a program for how to do a statutory audit, how to file IT returns. Mm. <laughs> very easy to do how to use excel sheets then i was thinking okay if you're a nutritionist you give a diet plan and it's so easy or mm. if you're talking about a, a, a fitness trainer they just give us workouts yeah and menopause how do i come up about with the program mm. it kind of it is hard it is hard the freedom um, hackathon which i participated after i registered yeah yeah that was a game changer for me mm. because you gave me structure this is how mm. the orientation should happen day one, day two. And what happens when they become a part of your community? What you mm. need to do? So mm. from there on, I pulled up, started learning about videos, started learning about how to manage digitally. Mm. So the program started falling in place, taking shape during the hackathon. The mm. eight weeks journey actually made me, it gave me more clarity for me within myself. Excellent. Mm. The, the day one, the day two, uh, what, what do I mix and match? Is it about hormones only? Is it about mm. sleep? Is it about mm. hydration? Mm. Mood swings? What do you mean by brain fogging? How mm. do I educate women when they enter into my community? Mm. Every single topic I picked up mm. beautifully took shape. Thanks to the hackathon that eight weeks. Uh, I should tell the kind of balance I did. Fortunately, it was lockdown, work from home. Yeah. I, I spent many, many hours then. That okay. Was, it was nice. Mm, and when fantastic. we were in the group, when I was, I think I was put in the Hyderabad group. Okay. Uh, and then we started sharing and exchanging. Mm. So each one was coming out with the topic. And my God, Gita, how are you doing? They, mm. Most of them, all of them, the other seven were men. But they mm. were so eagerly interested. You know, the way you're trying out to do from an abstract thing like this, bringing yes. in a sports curriculum. Mm. In fact, it was nice. Discussions mm. with all of these people actually helped me. Fantastic. How many one-to-ones did you do to understand the topic deeper during that hackathon phase? In fact, that one-on-ones, I, I think is a wonderful story. It's a wonderful mm. story. One-on-ones with family members. Mm. It was hard. No offense mm. was hard because people don't want to accept the fact that they are undergoing menopause. Okay. So they mm. did not want to share and talk and give their experiences. Mm. But where I was able to manage is, I went back to you mm. in the hot seat, waited for that opportunity. And I told, said, my program is wonderful. People attend my webinar, but nobody is willing to come forward. Mm. How do I go about the only thing you told me then is, Gita, your niche is different. Do just one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. Just one-on-one. -on -one. And the, the kind of lid that opened up and shot up was, 
I started mm. seeing 10 people, 15 people after the webinar blocking yes. for their one-on-ones. It kind of from uh, January to April, mm. I was continuously doing one-on-ones. Till date, I've done 142 one-on-ones. Fantastic. I still continue, but the, the uh, intensity has come down nowadays. Mm. Uh, but that one-on-ones journey actually made me much more like, this is not easy for women. Mm. Mm. This is not easy. I should do much more if they have to fall in place. It Fantastic. was like the, the kind of connect that started coming between me and them was really good. It mm. did drain me. It did drain me. But the learning was both sides. Okay. The lady who mm. was there sitting and talking to me about, it was not just about menopause. She had, she opened up into a very mm. different angle. Yes. And mm. I think the relationship started building in the one-on-ones with, with mm. my niche. Mm. I became much more, uh, much more, what do I say? I use the term. I got much more spiritual in the process. I started connecting to women's health. Compassion. Yeah, that opened up. Mm. Fantastic. One of them actually gave me a huge, huge, um, yes, it opened up in a different way. Yeah. So you were doing webinars, you do one to many. And then at the end of the webinar, I think I told you don't sell in the webinar, but get up, make them to sign up um, to uh, book a call with you. I know to set the one on one. So you do a webinar into one one to one, right? So it's then a 90 minutes webinar. Hmm. I just give the one on ones. I open the pitch only for one on one. So people yes. book. And once after they do the thing, then then the conversion. Is happens. it a paid one to one or free one to one? You do paid one to one. Paid one to one. Okay. And at what price point would you charge for the one to one? Exactly. You advise nine nine zero. Nine nine zero. Okay, perfect. And then in that paid one to one, after you have given them uh, some clarity, then you offer your membership into your community, right? Yes, I adopted your system of, uh, you give us personal clarity document when we're doing an FBI and kind yes. of things. Yes. I use the same format. Mm. I okay. fine-tuned that into different segments. Okay. What is their health goal? There mm. was a woman who told, Gita, you know what? For my daughter's wedding, I don't want to limp. Somebody was wow. saying, what, Gita? I want to take part in the hack, uh, 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 running marathon. Running. And mm. running. Mm. Or I would like to tre- trek with my son the summer for the Himalayan. Mm. You know, each one had, I wanted that purpose. If there is no purpose, the way you told, there is no purpose, they cannot. They won't. There's no fuel. Yeah, they will not move. So I just took the same format, went step by step. And the action plan was health action plan. Uh, it could be even strange secret. You will mm. have to listen to this every single day. That's how I was encouraging nice. all of them. Goal cards, all these things, what I'm being, I'm practicing for myself here through the ILH. The same mm. thing has been adopted there. Nice, Fantastic nice. Fantastic results. Mm. I am kind of, I really feel so nice when women come back to me and tell, you know what, Gita, I don't scream at my husband nowadays. Mm. I understand my children. Mm. And wow. at this point of time is where most of the women resign from work, mm. not able to cope. Okay. In the one-on-ones, I understood that. Okay. Mm. After my one-on-ones, Gita, you know what? I'm not going to resign from work. These kind of things actually, actually made me, yes, mm. I've done it. That kind of mm-hmm. a feeling started coming. Excellent, Gita. Excellent. That's, I can totally feel that you know, that the way that you've been able to connect the compassion, uh, whatever element in you has opened up through the one-to-ones and, uh, tell us about the next phase, which is now the, the money part. Like how did you start to convert more? So all the conversions happen in a one-to-one or does it happen uh, in a different format? Like how do you, yes. how did you achieve these numbers in the last four months? Yes. So, uh, Jan to April was conversions happened from the one-on-ones 40% to okay. 45% conversions. Very but good. what I noticed uh, from May onwards, hmm. from May onwards, I saw the responses in the Facebook ads going amazing. My, hmm. my, my cost per read is like 10, 12 rupees. Excellent. Okay. I've been hmm. consistent. They told, no, no, this will be only for a few months and then it will go off. Hmm. Uh, no, it didn't happen that way. It is still continuing. Touch it. Thank. Hmm. I, I should. Thank everybody who's been mm-hmm. part of the Facebook, uh, mm-hmm. the whole team who's doing this for me. Mm-hmm. And it has been consistent. 
in mm. the month of may i thought one on one is not going to be like i cannot scale up because i have my regular yeah. work uh, monday to friday and then most of the early mornings and late evenings we're going for this so i thought no this will not work for long if i have to reach out to many women mm. so in the month of may for the first time when i opened up a sales pitch for l1 mm. i was like oh women want to be a part of this Mm. I saw the the responses. I made on sixteen, thirteen or sixteen sales in the month of May. Okay. Mm. Uh, it was like May ten, eleventh. I started off. Okay. That month I made um, fifteen, no, thirteen sales. If I'm not wrong. Okay. But what? Uh, what? Who are these people who have paid? There was. They have attended my webinar twice or thrice. Mm. They see me every week twice. Mm. she's doing this come what may every wednesday every saturday she's showing up they attended three times four times mm. and then took a decision fantastic fantastic in june mm. i saw people registering who registered in november and december yeah, and yeah. Mm. then then it was 23 sales and in july uh yes the wednesday was my pre last sale consistently i am making like nine people 10 people coming up in every excellent week. it was like where is my salary <laughs> nowhere close mm. to these numbers mm. nowhere close to these numbers and i do only weekly twice uh, webinars one mastermind call every thursday 9 pm i've been mm. doing this every every thursday thank you so that you will not believe i adopt your format food Excellent. plate audit kitchen mm. assessment you will mm. not believe the way amazing yes. mm. hackathon i mm. run hackathon and my hackathon is called dropping the menopausal middle mm. belly you know abdomen area yes every quarter i run a hackathon so amazing I amazing i just follow <laughs> it is just not about financial freedom your model is going to be applied by a person in stock trading or in mm. and it can happen in any field that's what i realize it can happen mm. in any field absolutely yes. and i'm so uh, you know this topic and if you are validating the idea that it can work for a topic like menopause yes. i mean that is uh, i feel so good you know that yes it's working you know otherwise it's very easy to sell okay how to lose weight how to make money how to get a better yes. job and all that stuff but this is uh, it's beautiful how you had applied hackathon uh gamification so i love the idea so you transition from one to one sales so mm-hmm. same webinar into one to one sales now to in the same webinar you're able to convert and i'll tell you why it's working because you've done so many one to ones probably you also gained the confidence you also grown through that you are, you understand the patterns of what is right at the back of their mind and you're able to address that you know in the webinar and that's why now the scaling is happening in in a one to many and other thing i want to reiterate is you're doing free webinars i i always love free webinars and i always talk about compounding so you're saying you no know, november leads buying in june, june july i mean that's what happens when you are constantly showing up and there's no pressure okay it's a when it's a paid webinar there's a lot of pressure that you got to recover the ad cost and stuff like that now you're just like 10 rupees 20 rupees per lead your your list is growing like crazy you just keep inviting them back again and again and again and even for me it's like few people have bought after 20 webinars 25 webinars wow. but that's the beauty of uh, you know this uh, farming process that we're doing we are not trying to hunt for a client or hunt for business no. we're just planting the seed and let it grow yeah. so beautiful uh, geeta this is great I, so i yes. have to tell about free webinar since you may talked yeah. about this see that you know what that 7000 8000 today if i have that email in my email list in with me yes uh, which i'm nurturing every uh, i do once in 15 days for the general uh, people who are not a part of my community but their the email ids are there okay so what i noticed is when they attend the webinar the value addition they get about menopause the free webinar which i do mm. i see women feeling like you know what i have to share this link to somebody else in my community nice all my friends that is you made me understand what is dementia you made me understand what is osteoporosis mm. and i feel so honored when doctors and gynecologists pay and join my community wonderful that's a true uh, testimony yes. of your not just the knowledge but the but the feeling that they get that you can 
hold their back. You can hold that space for them. Yes, yes. That's yes. where it is. Fantastic, like fantastic, Geeta. I'm so happy. Yeah. And uh, that's what the whole game is all about, building communities. And so how do you feel now that, uh, you know, yes, on one side you have your job, but now you're building a tribe of your own. You just said like you're across 100, so that's amazing. So how has the things shifted personally for you? You want to bring your daughter on? Yes, is she there? Does yes. she want to share something? Yes, Aduna. Please, please. She's been seeing me in every webinar, mastermind classes. She helps me a lot, actually. Fantastic. Uh, I, fantastic. I think I should uh, come, Aduna. Yes. So, so how does she help you in your business? Mm, yeah, she's an architect. So she's a mm. very creative girl. So she helps me in um, no, not the program as such. I see my son used to sit with me and help me amma tell me when the webinar is happening and when i have to pay show the details of payment come aduna come mm. aduna. hi aduna nice to see you hi. congrats hmm. yeah so yeah how does uh, aduna help you in what uh, is part of the business yes the first thing is they are my audience mm. second thing is without any difficult uh, uh, not difficulty without any you know inhibitions they used to tell me amma do you really think you can make it mm -hmm. because you are every week you are you conduct a webinar even if there's one person with the same zeal you're talking mm -hmm. you six people with the same so they've seen me from the december yes um, you know the, those times where i was like getting worked up and now they're like wow 120 150 people in the webinar <laughs> what and that that support which these kids used to do during other times when mm. I was like struggling to put things in place, that that emotional strength these two kids were giving was yes. really good, really, Amazing. really good. Uh, Adina, we would like to hear from you. Like, uh, how has it been looking at what your mom is doing? Maybe you can come into the frame. And uh, yeah, thank you for supporting her and holding the space for her. What would you like to share? Uh, I'd like to say that. Look. Yes, maybe a little bit more in the center. Yeah, then we can see you. Yes. Well, I didn't really think, to be honest, I didn't really think she would make it this far. Mm. I, mean, I always thought it was an impossible possibility. Like, like you know, like just all, I see a lot of my friends, you know, on Instagram trying out um, influ do, influence. Like influencing. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought, so I really thought it wouldn't work out, especially because I, I always thought my mom wasn't that Gen Z. Mm -hmm. and it wouldn't happen. But. <laughs> I think she's doing a pretty good job. I'm actually really surprised this time when I came mm. home on vacation and I saw like the number of people attending her webinar mm. or um, or even how she talks, like it's changed over the years. Like before I would keep correcting her grammar because <laughs> I was a <laughs> grammar Nazi, but now like she talks really well. And I was like, that's an improvement personally as well. Mm. Like, mm. I mean, obviously financially it is a really big shift, but yeah. also, you know, like personal growth, like I just mentioned. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, coming from you, like you've been seeing your mom for years, so you, you can see the the you know the, the progress yeah. she's made financially, personally. Yeah. So I mean, how do you, uh, in what ways have you been uh, helping her, like specifically? Because I know many members in our community, their kids are also helping. So what were the areas that you used to guide her on? Well, you know? to be honest, I'm not I'm not very tech friendly as well. Like mm. I'm learning softwares and stuff right now, so um, I didn't really help her that much. I, I mm. she did. She would always like tell me that a lot of her friends uh children would help her and why am i not helping her yes, so yes. i wouldn't really help her that much but maybe I, I, to be, well i would just like sit through her webinar sometimes or correct mm. her like like i said the way she talks or maybe set her camera frame up that emotionally they you know, if you see the kind of i used to shift that heaviness in myself to the children consciously mm. and they did not repel or mm. oh ma you're talking only this they never did that they God, never God. did that next time there's a next time i could see how mature the kids are i used to feel because um i stay i don't know i lost my husband in 2018 mm. and i have seen the way we three started bonding my son daughter and me we got mm. very close as a family and mm. it was like you do and we are there Wow. That is the connect mm. which this we three became very close. And um, I 
I didn't know what a thumbnail means. Actually, mm. when I was doing my YouTube, this one, I saw my mm. son learn Canva. Okay, let me figure out. He clicked photographs. They used mm. to take a lot of photographs, do photo shoots for me. In fact, you wow. should tell all those things, Adina. <laughs> so many, they made me sit in many angles because I know mm. you were telling like, you need photographs for your website. Yes. You should do all those things. Mm. So th these are the things which they bringing that anger um, ideas into the system. Yes. With their own iPhones. Go ahead, click photographs. And this girl mm. comes from a creative background. So yeah. she should tell, you know, you should sit like this, drape mm. a sari and, mm. and talk to women. If you want calmness during menopause, mm. please to attend my webinar. She Amazing. was able to relate these kind of things. I was like, I never thought. I never Amazing. thought you have to convey this kind of message. Yeah. Wait, yeah. I, would, I would like to add that. Um, yeah. So I'm so I'm doing architecture and I learned like softwares like CAD and Canva. And I didn't know them until this time. And I'm almost done with my first year of architecture. But my mom learned all of that when I wasn't there. So I was surprised how nice. I was like, I don't know how to make a thumbnail. And she's like, oh, I'll teach you. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fantastic, fantastic. Yes. No, super proud of you, Adana, for really helping mom and you know getting her to speed and all these finer things. And Geeta, I mean, it really shows the way that you have been parenting also. You have very open to, you know, to learning from them and applying whatever they say. So it's been a magical journey. And uh, this interview is really such an amazing one. So all of you here watching, if you're inspired by this, if you are a woman, you want to know how uh, Gita can help you. There's a link in the description, my YouTube channel. You can go uh, attend her webinar and go through that journey with her. She can definitely help you. And if you'd like to be a part of the Internet Lifestyle Hub, uh, there's a link below. You can join our community. And Gita, I just have another minute before I need to jump to the next call. But the idea is what is the one thing or one success principle that you would like to share for the members here who, uh, for people watching here? What's your number one success principle? The first thing is never underestimate yourself. Mm. That thing like it is it's not the age it is not the job you are in from a corporate mom to becoming an entrepreneur was a big big thing for me so yes, yes. and this is exactly what i'm doing for my community mm, you are, do you don't need to stop the next 25 years of your life you can do amazing things yes and, and you only need a few months of focus to, to create that change yes. yes and ilh has just not given me a wonderful mentor like siddharth with beautiful thank friends, you. many, many friends, many, Amazing. many friends. And thank you so much for this. You thank will not you. believe they're just not family. They're not friends. I, I have beautifully developed good relationships with so many of them. Many mm. friends. I Fantastic. Love you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gita. Thank you so much. More power to you. Keep inspiring and looking forward to interviewing you next in the Crore Club as you get there very, very soon. All the best. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.